Well, hello, Canaan. This is Pastor Daniel with your uh, Monday update as we continue through what's hopefully not much longer on this COVID uh, pandemic situation on our lockdown orders. But uh, anyway, uh, thanks to all of you that joined in yesterday as we uh, went to the second part of our Remember series, going through the book of First Peter. Uh, we talked about remember your calling. And Peter's got some good counsel for us there as we continue in a, just a different time that we're in. Uh, the importance of remembering not only who we are, but whose we are. And the different things God has called us to do and to be in our salvation. And so, just a couple of questions. We're going to start with the questions today. Things you can be processing, sharing with each other in your families or connection groups. Uh, just casual conversations you might be having with phone calls. Just some questions from yesterday's message. Just to, just to talk through, uh, edify each other, build each other up. But... We talk about remembering Paul and we talk about desires and how all of us have desires. Some are from our flesh and are sinful. Others are from the spirit of God within us. Those of us who are saved and some of those desires are, we, we choose those desires. We can choose to act upon those desires. And so just want to ask you a couple of questions today. Uh, first is what's it, what is an example from your story, your time with Jesus, the time that you've known Jesus, the time that you've been saved where God has genuinely changed your desire, changed your heart in a certain area. That's a great testimony. Because that shows us and reminds us that God is truly alive and living within us. And any change story we have is evidence of the Spirit indwelling us. So to share what's a great story from your, your own past um, that shows the power of God in changing your heart, changing your desires. So that's one. Another question, very simple, is out of the desires that come from the Spirit of God right now within you, what is one desire that you want to choose to really feed? What is a holy, godly, spirit-given desire that you want to you want to pour into, that you want to focus on? Remember, we looked at Ephesians chapter 5 where Paul says, pay careful attention. So what is one of those desires you can pay careful attention to to feed and live out? And then lastly, it's just, again, remember your calling. What is... What is something that if you knew it would not fail, you could do anything for the glory of God, anything in the kingdom of God that you, you wanted to, that you have a desire to do, and you knew that it wouldn't fail, what would that be? Just dream a little bit. What's, what are the possibilities? So just think through that and maybe share those three answers with someone this week as you continue to kind of ponder on the message we talked about yesterday. Well, uh, just a few more updates. Um, just a reminder, we do have our prayer night again this Wednesday night at 6 p.m. on Zoom. And that Zoom link will be in, in the email that includes this video, as well as a reminder will be sent out Wednesday uh, with that Zoom link on there. So I encourage you to come out and pray. It's something we cannot do enough that the church in America does not do enough. And that is pray together. So uh, Wednesday at 6 o'clock for that. Um, so we, we, we kind of experimented with a concept on YouTube yesterday called Premiere. And uh, we've decided we're not going to stick with that. So if you try to get on like at 930 and couldn't, yeah, so we're, we're going we're gonna to go back to the way that was. So um, you'll be able to, to log into YouTube anytime Sunday morning and, and watch the online service uh, there as well. So, but in addition, though, we are going to do something, try something new on Facebook this Sunday morning. We're going to try to do what we call a watch party. So uh, the church will initiate that through the web, through the, through the church's Facebook account. But that way you can get on and watch with maybe your connection group or other people at the same time. Um, so just be looking for information on that coming later part of the week. Um, but these are, this makes it easy to share with others so we can try to get the word out. It's kind of like our outreach concept uh, during this crazy time that we're in where you can invite friends and neighbors. In other words, just send them the, the watch party invitation. And they can, uh, they can click in and join in watching with you uh, at the same time. So that way you can interact with each other and uh, that sort of thing. So it's a neat concept. We're going to try that out this Sunday. Uh, just continue to find out what works and doesn't work as we navigate this time together. So thank you for your faithfulness and your patience. And let us try new things. So uh, just trying to do the best we can to keep our church family together and to continue to, to reach out with the gospel as well. Um, we are preparing for a reopen um, as we hear information from different levels of governments. We know that Governor Parsons has said uh, that May 4th would be the statewide lift of the lockdown. Um, if you've listened to Sam Page, our county executive in St. Louis County, his updates 
Um, they're looking at mid-May uh, to, to remove the lockdown because he said 40% of the statewide COVID cases have been right here in St. Louis County. Jefferson County is looking to, to lift their lockdown next week. So um, we're gonna to begin to see things open back up. And so we're already making plans as a church, how we're gonna phase that into um, whatever is in compliance with uh, the restrictions given to us by uh, the, the medical recommendations and, and government. Um, the best we can, you know, we still want to get back together. So we're going to be, we're going to be trying to be careful and wise in this. At the same time, we're going to be pretty aggressive in trying to get back together as soon as we can. So um, just, uh, just keep, keep your ear open and we'll let you know when we find out more because there's, there's a lot still up in the air uh, in, our, in, our, in our area right now about what that's supposed to look like as a, as a county, as a state. So um, I know Governor Parsons is doing a press conference this afternoon. Sam Page is doing another one later on and I'm sure Jefferson County will as well. So just stay in tune and we'll keep you updated on that. But we are looking at reopening as quickly as possible at some level. So um, just again, wait it, wait out on that as we get more uh, information. Um, giving, thank you for giving. We continue to uh, just be blown away by God's faithfulness and your faithfulness and generosity. Because of your giving, um, we are able to really poor in our community. Like right now, we are we are making some contacts and looking how we can truly uh, impact some of the medical professionals in their area and their families. Because um, some of the medical professionals we have contact with, their spouses have lost their jobs. And so they're still, they're still trying to combat COVID-19 in their medical field, but still trying to keep their family afloat as well. So we've got some means now because of your generosity and some of you even designated it for this. Uh, just to do some really uh, impactful ministry uh, to our medical community uh, who are on the front lines have been fighting this uh, for, for several months now. So thank you for your generosity and uh, your faithfulness in giving. And just a reminder, you continue to give online through the app or here at the church, mail it in or come by and drop it off in our mail slot uh, by the child check-in entrance. So anyway, it we're, we're, looks like we're getting toward the end of the home lockdown. That is so exciting. Um, but we're still going to be patient and careful, wise, but at the same time, we're going to push it to get back together as soon as we can in some shape, form, or fashion. So great to, great to be with all of you virtually. We look forward to being with you physically. Have a great week. And God bless.